Right, this is just a quick video for Marius646. Hey dude, I've been watching your videos and they are pretty bad quality. They're like terrible. And the file size that you gave was like 97 meg or something. That was that was massive. And uh, yeah, you don't want to be doing that. And the, for, for the quality you're getting too um, is awful. First of all, I don't like to use... Um, MP4 because I can't really, I can't really get good results from MP4 with YouTube, so I don't, I don't use it at all. So that might be something to avoid. Anyway, um, exporting from Final Cut is kind of a prickly business for the web. I've found it, it's just, uh, it's obviously advanced software, and it, it sort of doesn't make many allowances, at least in my mind, for compression and compressing for the net although there are some things you can do uh, to help yourself out but rather than go into all of that I would avoid that hornet's nest and I I myself avoid it most of the time unless I want something really high quality I'll, I'll probably go and figure that out so I'm gonna quit Final Cut because um, that's not how I roll anything at all that I export from Final Cut after I've finished it will be in like a high quality DV PAL format onto my desktop. The file we're working with now isn't, but we will imagine that it is. Um, I will then import that file into iMovie. I know this is a bit of a process, but it seems to be the best way uh, quality-wise. And I'll find that high-quality file, and I will import that into iMovie itself. Then after that's actually completed, Let's fast forward time for a moment. There we go. Now now that that's been imported, just drag that as a finished file into your timeline and file export on that. And I, I've found, and I've used this since I started at YouTube, that that compressed movie for the default CD-ROM format, and as you can see the file size there for a 4 minute clip is a between 22 and 32 meg which is very reasonable uh, and then click share and that will go and export the file and uh, that works very well um, or at least as well as you can see my videos looking because I've done that with this one as well so that's how I sort of get around the quality issue and uh, that seems to be the best way I haven't found a better way even going going through the the final cut in the various formats um, the standard format that iMovie exports at seems to be the best thing for YouTube so that's uh, that's what I do anyway and I hope it helps that will certainly certainly give you better results than what you're getting at the moment um, yeah that's uh, pretty much that I'll uh, I haven't watched all your videos yet, but um, if there's anything else and I have time, I'll, I'll attempt to answer it. Or just uh, mail me if I don't get around to doing that. Alright. Have fun. And I hope it works out.